bunch of crunch army. Okay, you ever wonder how pro players are just able to hop into arena games and just casually humiliate everybody they come across? I mean, it's just completely unfair, right? Well, you know, this video is really gonna help you guys out, man, because it's time to go to the next level. Who's ready to go to the next level? I know I am. So he plays a relatively high ping for a pro and on controller, and I think a lot of us are kind of in the same boat as him. So who better to analyze for tips and tricks so we can use in our own games, right? I mean, who wanna wanna play like Reet? Peace control is definitely one of the things that Reed absolutely excels at. And in this first clip, guys, okay, we're gonna be looking at the importance of builds, providing options in fights. Here we go. So Reed's looking for his bounty target here, and when he comes across someone else in the remnants of this build fight, Reed starts off with the bang, but his opponent spams bouncers to take height. Okay, which is the right move, given that bouncers are kind of busted when it comes to taking height in build battles? But Reet recognizes they've only held up by one ramp. So rather than, you know, just fight for height right away, he knocks this guy down right on top of him and he just goes to box them in. But they manage to get the floor and they slink out of the top. So it seems like this guy is just pulling out all the stops, right? So this is where Reet decides to put on the tryhard pants and initiate a retake. This one's pretty simple, guys. First, an elevated side jump to just go up a layer. Then when Reet sees them ramping up, he goes for the high wall placement. He edits it open and goes to box in his opponent. Now, this was a good play here, but of course, somehow, some way, <laughs> the floor is phasing, even though this guy is barely touching it. So, Reet walks through and unexpectedly loses a huge chunk of his HP. Now, things are kind of looking bad, but Reet does something really well here, all right. While his opponent is just, you know, spamming that fire button, Reet boxes them in with a ramp and wall, and now this is why peace control is so freaking amazing. Reet has them boxed up fully, right? So he has his choice of just several different directions he can attack from. First, the wall, which he instantly resets after his shot. Then he goes underneath. He gets an incredibly just slick cone off, you know, just to block them. Doesn't get the wall, but he positions properly enough to not get shot. So from here, and I mean like right here, he replaces it with his rifle, and that's when he edits it open, and he goes for the jump shot to finish them off. Whoo! That was nice. So, in this fight, Reed did two things, like, amazing, which I think we can all learn from. First, his retake, where he did an elevated side jump into a high wall. You know, we've talked about how useful high walls are in our recent peace control technique video, which is amazing, and, and, and this is yet another example. So, although it didn't work out as planned because of the floor phase, the combination of both techniques was enough for him to reach his opponent on height. And second, Reed's decision to box his opponent at the end and attack you know, from multiple angles is great as well. Like, a lot of us would just simply try just editing the wall a second time, which is highly predictable, but when you have multiple angles of approach through P's control, you should just take advantage of it, guys. Okay, keep your enemy guessing, which makes your job a lot easier, right? All right, and speaking of making your job easier, okay, if you're looking for more ways to improve, you need to check out our coaches on ProGuides.com. Our top pros can just work on, you know, one-on-one -on -one with you to show you specific areas that you need to work on to improve like a pro, all right? Just click up right up here, man, and visit the description to get started today. All right, guys, so this next clip shows the key difference, you know, patience with your shots can really make and also how misdirection, when correctly applied, can manipulate, you know, how your enemy plays as well. So this is right after the previous kill we just showed. Reese continuing in his W key streak. He goes to attack this mental cone, but notice how he doesn't commit hard. It's metal. He hits once, pulls out his charge, hits again, pulls it out. He's trying to bait and net it. That doesn't work. So this guy just kind of just runs out of Reed, jumping over him. So this is where Reed tries to box him. He gets the floor cone over the floor, then goes to cone the top and side jump into a wall, but his opponent builds over him first. Now, Reed's in trouble. He's expecting to get edited and just boxed in since he doesn't control the pieces above him. So he places a wall just so that he can just have an escape if he happens to get boxed. But I guess it's not arena, you know, if your opponent isn't a maniac, right? So this is where the difference of patience really pays off. Reed's opponent lets off their first right away. They whiff. Reed takes just a second to ensure his shot's good. He hits for a huge chunk. 
Finally, Reed spots an opportunity to box this guy, but then they hold their charge. So rather than just risk getting popped in the head, Reed pretends he's exiting. That makes this guy just let off his charge, and that's when Reed reveals his true intention and he gets the kill. So the patience Reed showed with his charge shotgun was absolutely critical, guys. Like, you can't miss those shots, right? Like, you gotta take your time when you can. I mean, not too long, but enough to adjust your aim and the last bit you need for, you know, just a meteor shot. And that fake out at the and also proved to be game changing. All Reed had to do was just think outside of the box and it totally worked. His mind games got the guy to let off his charge and Reed got another kill. All right guys, next up, let's look at three quick early game of limbs where Reed uses peace control and proper positioning to block shots and just straight up just run through everybody. All right, guys, so for this first kill, Reed hears someone on the stairs, so he places a wall to make sure not to get blocked off. Enemy number one is holding the right-hand peak, but Reed counters with the floor. It blocks the shot, he edits through, and the guy tries to run, so Reed walls them and just takes the kill. Basic, but it still comes in handy to know this kind of simple peace control when you're fighting at these stairs in Salty Towers. Then Reed, Here's a player below, all right? So he ramps to crouch through the window and drop down. Definitely a quicker and sneakier method, you know, to just getting down there. And guys, look at how smoothly he executes this here. Very impressive. A quick cone wall, a cone wall, and, and then he just strafes to the left to get behind cover so he can just set up some jump shots, which nets him another easy kill. Lastly, Reed steps outside and another victim is waiting. Reed wastes no time. He immediately just ramps up into a classic double edit down into a cone and walls. This technique seems really difficult, but it's not really too bad with some practice. You gotta put that practice in. Either way, this guy stood no chance. Now, the first kill wasn't anything too special, but you need the mechanics to really pull it off, man. And how Reek got that second and third kill, you should definitely practice in creative to really get the hang of these moves. So you can get into your creative island, right? And just practice wall and edit cone and wall and edit cone. And, and once you get these builds down, guys, like you can just occasionally do a top right triangle edit where you position toward the left and pretend to go for jump shots. And for practicing the technique he used to get the third kill, Raider's Peace Control course has a section where you could just go and just get better and better and better and, and just really get it down, man. It's probably like the best way that you can actually perfect these techniques. So definitely try it out, guys, if you haven't yet. All right, finally, guys, two of the greatest attributes that Reap possesses are confidence and movement. And this next clip shows that he has this down to a T. Okay, so watch how Reap deals with two attackers in mere seconds without breaking a sweat. <laughs> this is incredible. So starting off, Reap's already been fighting this one player for about 30 seconds when another just comes from behind and forces him to box up. The third party comes up to his wall and, and forward ramps. Now, this is where Reap is already planning. He's got the gears. You know, turning in his head, I can see that. So he edits and he immediately boxes the guy in. And since the ramp was forward facing, Reed isn't worried about getting shot right away, which is why if you're the attacker, you generally want to control at least one wall so you have an exit available. But anyways, all right, this guy has no other options. So Reed's smart enough to just expect a ramp flip. So all Reed does is just hold his crosshair at the right spot and he waits for the edit so he can just start blasting. So the enemy lands a best case shot, but still the P90 absolutely shreds at close range. And Reed does, you know, he just demolishes this guy like it's nothing. But then there's still the other player Reed was fighting. He hears him re-entering the fight from below. So this is where having confidence in your abilities really comes into play. So Reed drops down right and he gets on top of them. Okay, so notice his movement here. A quick crowd, you know, straight to the right in anticipation of the charge shot, which actually makes his opponent miss. So never underestimate the power of good movement, guys, especially in a close range gun battle. If you can just time your crouches and strafes right before your opponent goes to shoot, unless you know they're absolute legends, you're probably gonna make them miss their shot. So movement matters just as much as good aim. And it's honestly one of the skill sets that separates decent players from legends like Reed. All right, Punch of Crunch Army. Okay, so Reed taught us a lot in this video. He showed us the importance of peace control and switching angles of attack, patience with the charged shotgun, and misdirection. 
you know, techniques are, are so powerful and how to apply these common piece control techniques in real games and of course how sheer confidence in your loadout can really change your game. Your abilities and good movement play is huge, especially in this season's meta. But you can show me if you guys like the video, you already know what to do. Make sure you like the video, subscribe to the channel because when we hit 1 million subscribers, we're gonna release a story of your motivation guy and how I made it to where I'm at today. We couldn't do this without you guys, man. We thank you so much for your support and we'll see you on the next one.